Hi there, my name is Natal Glenners. I am a walking contradiction. I'm an extrovert with introvert tendencies, um, a health advocate with the world's strongest sweet tooth, um, a conformist, but with a real rebellious side um, and someone that I feel like I know really well inside, outside, yet still learning new things. I believe being creative is my gift to the world. I can't think of an exact time where the arts in all its forms have not been present in my life. Dance, textiles, fashion, photography, drama, they've all played huge roles. I pride myself on always thinking outside the box. I strive to think and be beyond the norm. And in every job I've done, I've tried to be innovative, creative and imaginative. Creativity is my driver, my focus, my aim. I weave it into most areas of my life, motherhood, my home, my social life, my well-being. So imagine having to express that trait in your working life. That's me. I trained as a teacher 10 years ago. Over the last decade, I've had to sideline my biggest passion to conform to a system. Now, I no longer have much faith in. Although the joy of my job has always come from the children and adults I've had the honor to teach and help, the constraints of the curriculum, the pressure on attainment, and the outdated, unsupported ideology of what a teacher is and what the point of education is, now cast a huge shadow that I no longer want to fall under. What working in education has done for me is solidify how effective arts-based learning can be for all. Those who struggle to access traditional methods of learning can really excel when presented tasks in more creative, open ways. I want to empower people, open their minds and inspire them to fulfil their potentials. This role will enable me to make that happen. In 2020, during lockdown, I built a little side business called The Neutrals Nursery. After trying many other businesses before, from card making to jewellery, when I had my children, I became really interested in decor, like playrooms and nurseries. So this gave me the creative outlet that I needed. I grew an organic following of 3,600 followers over pretty much the first year. Um, completely organically, using things like competitions, hashtag challenges, sharing, interacting. I picked up lots of tips along the way of how to create an engagement page on Instagram. The key to a really good conversion from a viewer to follower is a lot of interaction that involves commenting, um, using ways of enticing people to read on, image quality and knowing your audience. The swap over to Reels was quite scary at first, but now I really enjoy creating that sort of content. Through the success of my Instagram page, it's led to opportunities working with Holly Tucker from Not On The High Street and being able to set up an Etsy shop. When I was 21, I took a trip with a friend on a round-the-world ticket. We flew to Hong Kong, Thailand, Australia, New Zealand, Fiji and LA. It was, without a shadow of a doubt, the time of my life. I think I was a nomad in a previous life because travelling and seeing new places is one of my favourite things. I've worked in Mansfield for the majority of my career. It's an area with many socio-economic issues. From working with families from a wide range of backgrounds, I've been able to deepen my understanding and empathy for people facing these issues. Aspirations are obviously low and feel limited. Working for a company like 64 Million Artists would enable me to connect with these communities and help develop mindsets and opportunities. I still dream.